This is Mrs. Winstead, and today we're taking a look at the planets within our solar system. Um, so they're classified according to location. The inner planets are between the sun and the asteroid belt, and then the outer planets are anything past the asteroid belt. So the asteroid belt is in between the inner planets and the outer planets. We can also classify the planets according to their makeup. So the terrestrial planets, which also happen to be mainly the inner planets, uh, are made of rocky materials. So they might have a nice solid crust for you to stand upon. Um, and then the gaseous planets are made mainly of ice and gas. So they might not even have solid ground uh, at the bottom. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun. It does not have a true atmosphere. Its surface temperatures are pretty extreme. Um, it gets up to about 800 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and then down into the negative 200s at night because there's no atmosphere to trap the heat. Uh, the heat is able to dissipate almost immediately at night. So you don't keep that heat level. There are many craters and steep cliffs on Mercury. That's because there's no atmosphere to burn up meteoroids. So meteoroids just run right into the surface. Um, so that leaves lots and lots of uh, craters along Mercury. Venus is the second planet from the sun. And it's similar to Earth in size and mass, but it is way hotter. Um, it's actually hotter than Mercury. It's 842 to 887 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface. That's so hot that there are molten pools of lead on Venus's surface. And the reason it's so hot is because rather than being like Mercury with no atmosphere, there is a very dense atmosphere on Venus and it causes a very extreme version of the greenhouse effect. Um, the greenhouse effect means that there are certain gases that trap heat, kind of like a greenhouse would or like the inside of your car does in the summertime. Um, it traps that heat and Venus takes that just to the next level. So it takes that heat up really, really hot. Earth is, of course, the third planet for the sun. It's well suited for life, uh, including having water as a solid liquid or a gas at the same time. If you're sitting outside with an ice cold drink with nice ice cubes floating in it on a hot, humid summer day you are experiencing all three forms of water there's water vapor in the air around you there's liquid water in your drink and there's solid water in the form of ice so you can have all three all at the same time which is really handy for living things considering how much we need water our atmosphere protects our surface so those meteoroids that smash into mercury are a lot less likely to come smashing into earth so uh You'll see them burning up in the atmosphere instead, which is way better. Mars gets a lot of attention right now because there are two droids hanging out on Mars. Uh, we, it is the red planet. That's because there's iron oxide or rust, basically, in the rocks. And it has ice caps. It has seasons. And it has evidence of past water, which is part of the reason why scientists are studying Mars so much. We want to try to find out if there's some kind of secret Martian bacteria hanging out up there. So those Martian rovers are checking all that out right now. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. This is past the asteroid belt. And there are a lot of storms in Jupiter's atmosphere, most notably the Great Red Spot, which is so big that you can just see it. It's huge. Um, it is actually so large that you could fit at least a couple of Earths within this huge storm. It's basically like a massive hurricane that's been going on for uh, at least 150 years. Uh, they think it might have been going on for way longer than that even. Jupiter has the most moons. It's 60 moons and um, four have an atmosphere of their own. So a lot of big moons there. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. It's the second largest in the solar system and it has thick outer rings. That's what people usually know Saturn for. Jupiter has rings too. Uh, so do Neptune and Uranus, but Saturn's rings, they're where it's at. They're really thick. They're made up of uh, ice and rocks and they're very, very thick. So they look really cool. Um, then there are 31 moons around Saturn, and one of those moons is actually larger than the planet Mercury, which is kind of bananas when you think about it. 
Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It is a gas giant as well. It has methane in the atmosphere, which gives it a blue-green color. And it actually has a tilted axis of rotation, so it's kind of like a rolling ball rolling around the sun. And then we have Neptune. Neptune has a surface of frozen nitrogen, and it has nitrogen gas geysers. It's very, very cold there. So that's the planets within our solar system. We'll talk a little bit about Pluto, because I know people are probably wondering about it in the next video when we learn about the other objects within the solar system.